from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. Hey everybody, B Wildcat 2 here back today with another road of the show quick clip here in MLB 12 the show. We are in June still here in the 2016 season. While then the Toronto Blue Jays are about to take on the Washington Nationals and pinch hit opportunity. And if you're watching this video, you notice that this isn't a quick clip like the last one was. This is almost 25 minutes long. Or it's more than 25 minutes long. What's up with that, Wildcat? Well, you're going to see some big things in this video. This is Road to the Show quick clip number 8, by the way. If you didn't know, this is the last one in Dazzle. You guys, we're really close to being all the way in HD, especially with the series that I'm trying to push out to you guys really quickly. Um, here's Wild coming up with a 258 average, three homers, nine RBI. Washington leading 10 to nine here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Nobody out, nobody on. First pitch to Wild. Swung on, hit to the right side, down the line, and foul. Thankfully, it went in the stands. So Wild will have at least one more pitch in this at bat. 0-1. Here's the pitch to Wild. Swings and grounds it up the middle and past the shortstop. Or the shortstop can't make the play. And Wild is safe at first base with, uh, let's call it an infield hit, just so uh, we don't have to worry about any uh, technicalities or anything. So Wild is safe at first base there. There's going to be a pinch hitter for the next batter. It's Steven Choi. And uh, we'll have to see what he can do. It's going to be a hit and run. It always is. Uh, down by one run in the bottom of the ninth with your tying run on base and the winning run at the plate and nobody out. Why would you hit and run? But let's see how this works out. Steven Choi, 292 with five homers, 24 RBI. Bottom of the ninth, he's got a 3 2 count on him with nobody out. Set. Here comes the pitch. Wild is off a uh, ground ball, and uh, it'll only be they will only they will turn to it looks like actually. Did they get the double play? I couldn't tell. I think that yeah they did, and we end up losing thanks to that ten to nine. But Wild did get a hit in his one at bat. Uh, they did call it an infield hit, so he moves his batting average up to two sixty nine on the season now. Uh, but Washington does indeed win that one 10-9, unfortunately. Toronto couldn't get it done at home. Unlike last episode and the, some of the episodes before, we had we had been winning. But this is another loss. And the, the Blue Jays not trading for Wildcat, but they send him down to Triple A because of a stupid trade. They send down one of their best pinch hitters, that has been pinch hitting and doing a fa fantastic job. They send him down to AAA so they can make some mo make some space on the roster. Now this just this this really ticked me off. So you'll see it here. I went out of the I went out of road to the show. I was I wanted to see if I could get them not to make that silly move, and I could stay with the Blue Jays. Uh, so, and we'll do this again. Play next appearance. The Blue Jays trade him, and they uh, get sent back down to Triple A again. Let's try it one more time. I mean, I'm just gonna have to face it here in a few minutes. That I'm not gonna get past. Triple A with this stupid trade. I think I was thinking, if I can't get this to go back the other way and not get sent down to Triple A, I'm not gonna do this anymore. But um, it's sad. Well, now he doesn't get. Now he does get sent down to Triple A. Unfortunately. And Wildcat, what are you doing? Keep getting out and keep going back in. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is really funny if you're if you're not uh the one that's trying to play for the big leagues for the Toronto Blue Jays. But uh I think I, I was really mad at this point when uh when I got sent down. Here we go again, guys. 
it's been so long since um, I remember doing this and, and playing this. Uh, I think you see right there. I think that says December 1st. and I mean, it was back before I got my uh, HD PVR. I mean, not my HD PVR, my Elgato. There you go again. So, you guys, I think that's the last time. I'm probably, I'm not sure. Probably not. Yep, probably not is right. <laughs> to do it again, but... Anyway, uh, once I eventually get over being mad at MLB 12 the show in this video and we start playing again we're going to be playing for the AAA affiliate the Las Vegas 51's and um, we're going to have to see how that works out as you see Toronto is still in third place when they sent me down here we go again guys <laughs> this is actually pretty amusing that I did this I don't know why I did this but uh, we're going to load from the cloud now and see if that works. <laughs> I'm trying everything to keep myself out of AAA. Oh my goodness gracious. I think I even try loading a past file. I've, I don't think I do, but... Alright, so let's see here. What do we got? Did I just leave it? Oh wow. Oh my goodness. I just left it. I went in the, through the cloud and I just I left and went back out to the the save file. So eventually here we will be going down to AAA, and uh, after this video in AAA we got uh, I won't be showing any more AAA footage. The next video after this is going to be the first one in HD, and I believe it's when we get called back up after our AAA stint. Uh, I think it's our September call up. I haven't. Uh, I don't know for sure though. I'll have to check here after this video is over. But I believe that's what it is. So for BJ Wild, you know he's got to be upset. Uh, remember back uh, when he got sent down? Was it last season when he was struggling in the majors and he didn't want to go back down? So he. Uh, I had the. I had Colton Pendergrass or uh, Pendergrass Live. If you guys uh, remember him, good buddy of mine from last summer. That he did videos, but he doesn't now. We've, t pardon me, we still talk occasionally uh, through Twitter and stuff. But I don't know if he's coming back or not. I think he wasn't trying to uh, come back for um, summer again, like just be a summer's only commentator, which is fine and dandy in its own right, but. There were a lot of people that liked his videos, including me. I was a fan of him. And uh, anyway, he helped me out. He got some uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 footage of uh, BJ Wild uh, robbing, <laughs> robbing a hamburger uh, shop or a restaurant or something and, um, and shooting cops and j jumping off of a bridge. Uh, so I was half tempted to use that footage again here. Uh, but he decided to shape up and go play in Triple A. So let's see how the new BJ Wild is going to be out in left field for today's game for the Las Vegas 51s against the Colorado Springs si Sky Sox. Maybe I don't know. And uh, making a catch there. Anyway, it's it's Las Vegas versus Colorado Springs. If I if I said the team name wrong, oh well, it's a Triple A team. You'll get over it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so wow, Wilds is determined to come out and tear the cover off the ball. He was swinging at that one, and it was up at his eyes almost. Now on 0 and 1, the pitch to Wild slider right there, and he didn't swing at it. 0 and 2. I think I don't know if Wild struggles in AAA or not, but uh, I guess he doesn't struggle enough because he gets called uh, back up in uh, at the end of the season. But I know that you guys don't want to watch AAA footage uh, of BJ Wild, and I don't want to play AAA footage of BJ Wild. So uh, what I did was I recorded this, and then once I was done recording this, as you see, Wild. Taking the pitch deep to left field, and that is going to be a double. Nicely done by Wild there. 
his first hit back in Triple A, and it was the Sky Sox. And Nick Swisher is even uh, for Las Vegas, so I guess I don't feel too bad. Of course, he's older than I am in this game. But Wild gets a double there. Anyway, like I was saying, I know you guys don't really want to watch me in AAA, especially since I've been in the big leagues. And I didn't want to play in AAA, especially since I'd been in the big leagues. But um, that's why I didn't record any AAA footage except for this video. Uh, which was mo which was a little bit MLB too. So uh, while now coming back up in the bottom of the second, I think Las Vegas has a lead now. And the first pitch to him is a cutter. Ooh, that could have been a strike. I think that should have been a strike, but I'm not complaining. One no, the count to Wild slider right there. One and one on the on that slider there, and Wild's gonna have an even count at one with one one count. Fouls that one back. One and two to BJ Wild. But anyway, guys, like I said, in the next video will be in HD and it will be back to the majors for Wild. And uh, we'll see how we'll have to see how he does back with Toronto uh, after a stint with uh, the in the minors for most of the season. Wild's worked at the three and two now with uh, runners on first and second with one out, three two count, and here comes the pitch. Swinging and fouling that one away, and it'll still be three and two to BJ Wild. He's a starter, even though he was on the bench in the majors. He's a starter in the Triple A, and Wild t gets a pitch he likes, hits a deep left field, way back, and that one is gone. So Wild, he's coming in, and he's probably a really good Triple A hitter now, since he's been in the majors and has had some success, but some failure. Uh, great at bat, 44 skill points on that three-run home run. And uh, Wild is now two for two with two extra base hits. Was that Mike Sosha that was in the dugout for Las Vegas? Kind of looked like him. But a three-run Jimmy Jack by uh, B.J. Wild here. You'll see the replay. He gets a pitch he likes on three and two and hit, takes it 391 feet. Now, would that have been a home run in a major league ballpark? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Depends on where you're playing. But anyway, so Wild is now 2-for-2 two two with three runs batted in and a double and a home run. Both extra base hits. And he's going to come back up in the bottom of the sixth and a 7-2 to lead for the Blue Jays. Or not for the Blue Jays, for the 51s. So Wild coming back up now here in the bottom of the sixth inning. One out and here comes the first pitch. It's a new pitcher in too. Going to ground that one to second base. You can't get hits every time. You know what they say. Even the best hitters fail 7 out of 10 times. So... There you go, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, I don't really mean to uh, yawn during a commentary, uh, but Triple A is just so boring, you know. I just I want to be back in the majors, you know. I'm diving at foul balls, and when I know I don't have a chance at getting them, and I'm dropping stuff on my desk. That's wonderful. I hope it didn't break. No, it didn't. It's fine. Okay. That was kind of awkward, but you see Wild is making the play there, and uh, he's going to make that catch for an out, and so Jose Herrera, or whatever his name is, is out. So in a 7-4 to four game, Wild is coming back up, 2-3 for three with a home run and a double. Again, two runners on, and this is the last time he had two runners on. In the second inning, he had a home run. Hey, bloody General 9 is now online. Mm, must be a Call of Duty nerd. No, I'm just kidding. I know who it is. That's why I said something about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just messing with him. Bottom of the sixth inning with two outs and two on for Wild. And here comes the first pitch. Swinging and fouling that one away back in the stands. And it's 0-1. And you guys better scurry and get those foul balls because he's not going to be in AAA for too much longer, guys. Just this video. And he won't be back. So you guys will have another chance to have a foul ball. So one and one now after that ball with two out, two on. Said here comes the pitch and outside again with a slider and it'll be two and one to BJ Wild. I don't know who's pitching for the Sky Sox, but they're not doing the best of jobs as that changeup is low and outside. It should be that should have been a walk, but it's three and one because I swung at that first pitch and fouled it back. But on three and one, here comes the pitch to Wild. Swinging and hitting that run right back into center field. That'll be a base hit. Here comes the runner home. He is safe. He's got four RBI on the day now. 
and that's another great at bat, 28 skill points. He's 3 for 4, just needs a triple to complete the cycle, guys. And he's got 4 RBI on the day, and Jose Herrera is doing a flip. Flippity floppity, just like a pancake. Woo! Just like a pancake. I want some pancakes, maybe for breakfast tomorrow. I'm recording this on a Friday, so. 8 to 4 game, here is Jose Herrera. Who was one for three? He doubled in the fourth inning. Eight to four game, top of the eighth inning, two outs and a runner on third. And Herrera getting ready for the first pitch. He had his hit down the left field line and out of play, a foul ball. So it'll be 0 and 1 to Jose Herrera. But we don't, and ain't nobody got top of that. So we go to the bottom of the eighth inning now. And an eight to five ball game. Wild will have one chance for the, the cycle. He has never had the cycle before. He's 3 for 4, only needs a triple to complete the cycle in an 8-5 game. One out, bottom of the 8th. First pitch is fouled away, a slider. It'll be on 1. Got a runner at first. He could have 5 RBI if he gets a triple. Even if he gets a double, he might get 5 RBI. 0-1, swinging and hitting that into right field. That's a base hit. He's got to be 4 for 5 in his first game back in AAA. But he's not going to get the cycle. But he does get a good at bat and 14 skill points. One of his best days, uh, especially in one of his worst times. He doesn't want to be here in the trip in the minor leagues. He wants to get back up into the majors. He's upset with the Toronto organization because they sent him down because of some silly, stupid trade that's not even going to help them later on in the season. But anyway, the uh, 51s win this game 8-5. to five. Wild went 4 for 5. He could have gone 5 for 5. But he swung at that first pitch in the fourth inning and grounded out. So four for five game with a home run, a double, and two singles. So batting 800 now in AAA with a home run and four RBI, a slugging percentage of 1,600. Not too shabby. So I think we've got one more game in this video. Uh, I think I played one more game because of I saw how well he did in his uh, first AAA game, and I want to see what else he could do. So we'll have to see here. He's on the AAA bench. Really? But at least he's got three of his four skill points. Uh, or three of his four advancement goals done. So maybe he can get back up into the majors soon enough. We're going to increase that contact versus left-handed pitchers. And we're also going to increase it against right-handed pitchers. So still on the AAA bench. Now we uh, lose the next game we're 52 and 19 53 53 and 20 and now we're going to come into a game where we're starting it looks like against the padres i may be wrong though don't take my word on that and so we're going to look to get a win and increase our record as we are now 53 and 20 it looks like it says up uh, on the river cats by 14 and a half games you know that kind of sounds like Southern, and it is. It's the PCL Pack dot South standings. So it's like, yeah, the 51s, they're they're up on by on the on those River Cats by 14 and a half games. You know, yes, I can I can do a Southern accent. I live in the South, but I try not to let my Southern accent like slip out. You know, just like talking in a conversation. I kind of sound like Elvis when I talk like this. You know, hey mama, hey uh, hey tiger. Hey, sexy lady. No, no, not anymore. I can also do a Sean Connery impression. But not right now. I think we need to get back to this video. But Sean Connery just appeared in this in the middle of this batting practice. What a disgrace. Why would the Blue Jays send him down? He was one of their best pinch hitters. They shouldn't have shit him down. And it's all your fault, Trebek. <laughs> oh my god, I love Celebrity Jeopardy on Saturday Night Live. Uh, Sean Connery and and uh, what's supposed to be Alex Trebek, which is Will Ferrell. It's the, it's the best. If you guys haven't seen that, you need to watch it. It's hysterical. So, uh, I could do Elvis Oppression. We've already uh, figured that out. Sean Connery's down. Who's the next impression we should learn? Leave your comments below if you're even watching still. Which I, I think some of you guys will will be entertained and stay long enough to watch this part. Or you'll skip ahead to this part. But anyway, BJ Wild coming in with that impressive 800 batting average. 
And now a ball game brought to you by Sean Connery. So here comes B.J. Wild. He's batting 800 with one home run and four RBIs in the in the regular season. As his first game was a big success, he went four for five against the uh, Colorado Springs uh, Sky Sharks. He takes a ball and he's got a 1-0 count on the pitcher. And now on 1-0, he will get another ball and he's down 2-0 or he's up 2-0. On the pitcher. On 2 0. Trebek throws a change up for a strike. And it is 2 and 1. As it is the Padres, you guys. It's the Tucson Padres, the AAA affiliate of the San Diego Padres. I'm thinking. Why else would you have a, a Padres team if they're not affiliated with the Padres? But Wild grounds out on four pitches, gets a good at bat, 14 skill points, and we head to the bottom of the first inning with a scoreless game. That's a pretty good ex. That's pretty good actually. Pretty pretty good. All right, he's over. He's coming up 0 for one. He's got two runners on with nobody or with two out, and a first pitch to him, swinging and fouling that one away. It's showing one. I've got a, I've got a good British accent too, but that's what Sean Connery's an Englishman, and he's got he's like this. He he talks like this, except this is American Sean Connery. If you have to, if you want to, hello, Governor Britain. Sean Connery is Britain. Britain. He's British like this, except I can't. I don't think I can do his voice intro in uh in British. So it'll take some time. One and two count with two out. And Wild ready. Another pitch is taken low for a ball. And it's two and two. Two two count. Here comes the pitch. Outside and he's worked it to three and two. The runners will the runners will be going on this three and two count with two outs here in the top of the third. And here comes the pitch. It's low, ball four, and he's going to walk. He's got another good at bat, another 15 skill points. And he's 0 for 1, but he's walked tonight. So, he's having a pretty good day, if you don't say so. Each team with one hit now, and nothing else, is Kareem Conrad will come up. He's playing right field today, batting 333 with 5 home runs and 25 RBIs. Bottom of the third with a 1-0 count. Here comes the first pitch. Swinging and hits that one into center field. That's a base hit for whoever that was. Was it Conrad? Yes, it was Conrad. So Conrad, he's on first base. And uh, for Tucson, they now have a run on with nobody out. And let's see if they can score off of this. Yes, they do indeed score off of this. Angel Sanchez, he's coming up. He's playing shortstop today. He's one for one with a double in the back in the first inning. With a 1-0 count, nobody out. Runners at first and second. Swinging and hitting this one back up the middle. That's going to be new. It's not going to be a double play. In fact, he throws it into the stands. So that's going to be another run scoring for Tucson. When Wild comes back up, he's got the, he's got the bases loaded with uh, one out, it looked like. And it's a three to one game. Oh, I sure hope he does something good in this game because I want to eat I want to do my Dave Niehaus impression right here. Fouling that one away. And it's 0 and 1. Oh, please, come on. Come on. I, I, I think it's this I think this happens, but I don't know. I don't want to spoil it. Here's the pitch. Uh no it doesn't. Darn. Wait, no. That's a fly out. He flies out in foul ground, and he will get a run and bat it in on the sack fly, technically speaking, but a poor at bat, unfortunately. I wish that he would come up with uh, the bases loaded and hit a hit a home run. I want I want to do my de- best Dave Niehaus impression. Oh well, Tucson still winning five to four, top of the seventh inning with two out. First pitch to Wild is a fastball taken low for ball one. The count is one to zero. Top of the seventh and a one-run game as Wild is the tying run at the plate now, as the 51s are down to their last seven outs. Swinging, hang that one foul. 
while it's 0 for 2 with a walk and a run batted in tonight, though. So he's not having the best of games. 1-1 one, one count with two out. And here's the pitch. Slider. Ooh, that's a backdoor slider if I've ever seen one. 1-2 one and two with two out. Now here in the top of the seventh set. And here comes the pitch. Right down Broadway. Strikes out looking. Oh, man. And we get one more at bat. We up six to. We are up six to five now, with uh, two out here in the top of the ninth inning with a runner on base. Here comes the first pitch. Swings and hits that one into right field. That should be playable, and he's going to be 0 for three with a walk and a run batted in on the night. But hopefully Las Vegas will hang on to win this one. Let's see. It is going to fast forward to the end of the game, and uh, who got the win tonight? This will be. Las Vegas will indeed pull out the win over Tucson 6 to 5 and Wild went 0 for 3 excuse me 0 for 3 with a walk and a sack fly in the 5th so and Las Vegas wins 6 to 5 so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching quick clip number 8 and when we have quick clip number 9 it will be in HD guys we are really close I hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, come back again soon peace